Hello and welcome to The Final Whistle on Facebook. I'm delighted to say that Callum Chambers has joined me after Arsenal's nil-nil draw against Liverpool. Callum, thanks for stopping by. There was an incredible pace to the game tonight. That looked difficult to play. Yeah, um, I'd say the first half more difficult than the second. Um, you know, I think, um, yeah, as I said, in the first half just felt more difficult. I think, obviously, um, me and Gabby are sort of building up a new partnership. Um, and I think sort of like we sort of grew together in the game. I thought second half we did a lot better. Um, but yeah, it was a quick tempo to the game today. Um, Aaron Ramsey had a goal disallowed. You were at the other end of the pitch, of course. It could have been different for Arsenal tonight, couldn't it? Yeah, it could have. Um, obviously, it got disallowed. and it wasn't Shouldn't have been. Well, I haven't, I haven't seen it back yet, but I've heard rumours it shouldn't have been. But um, yeah, when it's disallowed, you know, obviously it's annoying, but you just got to deal with it and move on, um, and just keep keep the pressure going and try and get another one. I guess from a Liverpool point of view, they will say they hit the post twice in the first half, or at least the woodwork twice in the first half. They will come away from the game believing that they were a little unlucky. Yeah, um, you know, they they had a spell, as I said, in the first half where they had a lot of chances, and obviously, um, Czech was unbelievable. Uh, he, he made some unbelievable saves to keep us in it um, so you know I think we grinded out that that little spell and sort of kicked on in the second half okay we've got some questions for you from our Instagram followers first of all uh, this is Maxime underscore Casey who wants to know who was your favorite player when you were growing up my favorite player when I was growing up was David Beckham um, he was my idol obviously at the time I was the same position as in right wing um, and I just liked him as a person as a, as a, and as a professional on and off the pitch. Uh, this is from Dara Heaney, 1021, who wants to know about Petr Cech's saves. He was brilliant tonight, two outstanding saves. Uh, one from Coutinho, of course, one from Ben Teke. Two brilliant stops from our keeper. Yeah, I mean, as I said earlier, they were unbelievable saves. Um, at a crucial part of the game as well to keep us in it. Um, you know, that's almost what he's there for. But uh, you know, they were fantastic saves. Um, as I said, you know, they kept us in it at that point. Lichi at fourteen twelve uh, wants to know what's it like training with uh, Pedicek and what has he added to the team? Uh, yeah, it's good to train with him. Um, you know, he's always talking to me and helping me improve my game, which is really useful. Uh, you know, in training, he'll come up to me during the session or after the session and sort of say, you know, this was good, you could do this, maybe try this. So it's always great to have someone who can help you. And finally, from Mr Kool-Aid, who wants to know, what inspired you to take up the sport? Just the love of the game. Uh, when I was young, I'd always be, always be playing football with my mates, you know, at school, at home, down the park, um, you know, whenever there was a chance. We'd always have a ball on us um, and just, just having fun. And it, I just grew to love it. Um, you know, I just, I just love the sport and I love playing it every day. Well, many thanks uh, to Callum for stopping by. This has been the final whistle on Facebook. We'll see you again soon.